hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys it is as though they have formed an orderly queue in front of a media scrum to uh issue this uh public denial so i had done a video already on teofilos danjuma guys i now bring you this Magu Abdul Salami Abubakar breaks silence on EFCC raid. So now fast forward to this now. Abdul Salami Abubakar is the next uh, on that queue. As uh, guys, I bring you this. Magu Abdul Salami Abubakar breaks silence on EFCC raid. So now let's now find out exactly why the EFCC may or may not have raided the house of the former Nigerian uh, dictator. Former head of state Abdul Salami Abubakar has opened up about a raid conducted by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC in 2017. In a statement issued on Thursday and signed by his military assistant, J. Mfong, Abubakar said operatives from the anti-graft agency went to his guest house in Aero but did not conduct any search of the property. The statement was in reaction to reports that the suspended acting chairman of the EFCC, Ibrahim Magu, conducted a recent search in his MINA residence. So he, being uh, Abubakar Abdul Salami, of course, so he conducted a recent search in his that is Abubakar Abdul Salami's MENA residence. Sometime in 2017, operatives of the commission from Kano Zone came to MENA to search a house in Tunga. The team ended up at His Excellency's guest house in MENA and told the security officers on duty that they had instructions from their zonal head to search the property. The officer said since the numbering of the houses in Tonga was haphazard, it must be a case of mistaken identity. When CP Magu, so that is the uh, uh, head of the a a EFCC, Magu of course, when CP Magu was contacted, he said he was not aware of the operation. Thereafter, the EFCC team from Kano left. His Excellency's understanding is that they realized they came to the wrong address. However, no search was conducted on the guest house, part of the statement reads. Magu is under investigation by a presidential committee over several allegations of embezzlement and misconduct. So, uh, yes, we know all that, but really the interesting part is now this Abdul Salami Abubakar uh, narrative this uh, now new thing that we're contending with because this is a qualified denial and this is a very weak and a very feeble denial so let's go through it uh, just in sequence so first they said that this uh, uh, this raid on Abubakar Abdul Salami's house was conducted recently but the rebuttal that Abdul Salami Abubakar is putting out is going as far back as a uh, 2017 so 2017 is not recently recently is usually within the space of 6 12 months and uh, 2017 is certainly not uh, 6 12 months so again the allegation was that the raid was uh, conducted at the house of the uh, former despot Abdul Abubakar Abdul Salami but his rebuttal is that the raid was conducted uh, on or in one of his uh, guest house. So they're saying it's a case of mistaken identity that they went to the wrong address. So this is quite weak and feeble, as I said, because <laughs> it's almost a near impossibility to mistakenly end up at the address of a former uh, head of state who was noted for, for looting and stealing. This guy stole so much that as soon as Obasanjo came in, he immediately went after this guy to go and uh, retrieve as much as he could of the monies that this uh, guy Abubakar Abdul Salami stole because it was that much and it was that early that Obasanjo had to move quickly because they just emptied the whole coffers of the country as this guy was pulling out he said okay you want democracy go and uh, uh, be doing democracy on Gary and Epana this, this guy just looted everything with the support of his brother from Mena we all know who his brother is the one with the gap uh, tooth so this is now the going so now but this idea that you will mistakenly go to the house of uh 
uh, a former head of state is is just is just is beyond fanciful and i'm highly disappointed by the way by uh whoever wrote this denial because they could have done a lot better they could have come up with a better story or not said anything at all than to try and uh, insult our intelligence with this weak and feeble excuse conversations in the comment section i've said it now on a few videos this ibrahim magu has stepped on too many big toes and you do not do that within the nigerian space come share thoughts but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i no, uh, drop a new video click on like as well that helps with the youtube algorithm once you've done the click click and then the click come join me then in the comment section to see what you are making of this rather weak and feeble denial by uh, the former military despot of nigeria abubakar abdul salami uh, so i'll leave you here carry this conversation with you in the comment section but here I say.